Welcome back to BNC Prime. Tonight we remember a hip hop legend, Prince Marky D, a member of the Fat Boys Hip Hop Trio. He passed away. He was just 52 years old. Joining me now to discuss his legacy in the hip hop world is Jennifer Ongushala. She's an entertainment writer for Essence Insider. The list goes on and on and on. It's such a pleasure to have you back again, and we got more time to talk to you. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. So let's talk Thank about. Thank you for having me. It is a pleasure. Let's talk about Prince Marky D's life and how the Fat Boys influenced the music industry, especially hip hop. So yesterday evening, I was scrolling through Instagram and the international DJ, DJ D Nice, I saw that he posted that he passed away. And it was a huge shock to me um, because he's fairly young. Hip hop is fairly young. And he was a part of the Fat Boys and they were a part of the golden era of hip hop along with LL Cool J, Run DMC, Curtis Blow. And, you know, he really, the group and him specifically really contributed to what we know as hip hop today, um, the foundation of hip hop today. And uh, they were also one of the first uh, hip hop groups in movies. Yeah, um, I wish I could beatbox because I would like bust a move right now, but I can't. Now, I know you have all the tea in the entertainment world, so let's jump right into it. Kim Kardashian filed for divorce from Kanye West. What's the word on the curb? So, I mean, we heard that there were, you know, they were going through some things and that that was on the horizon, but of course, we didn't know if it to be true, but we found out today that uh, Kim Kardashian, she filed for divorce. And, you know, anytime a husband and wife um, or couple, they break up after being together and having kids and connecting their lives, you know, it's just a sad situation now, but I'm, I'm honestly, I'm not, I'm not surprised. I am glad that um, from what I read, that it's an amicable uh, divorce and that, you know, they, they are, you know, not fighting, it's not messy. And so, you know, the one thing I do hope is that we get uh, the old Kanye back. You know what, I, people have been saying college that. College dropout Kanye. Yeah, college dropout. I hear that, uh, flashing lights Kanye, huh? <laughs> well, we'll see. Hopefully it is ample, considering the fact that we have kids involved. Now, you also interviewed R&B singer Brandy. What was it like to interview her about Brandy becoming her true self at 40, especially now that Cinderella, the movie she stars in, is streaming? So I'm an 80s baby. I grew up on Brandy and Brandy. I wanted to be Brandy. Uh, I got my hair braided. Now, you know, but when I was younger, I got my hair braided because of Brandy. And so interviewing her, it was, you know, a dream, but she was so personable. She was, you know, down to earth. And she was honestly surprised that, you know, I said everything that I said to her because I, you know, I told her that she was so, so influential on my life, but not just my life, so many young um, girls around the country young women around the country. Um, and, you know, it was a pleasure talking to her. And when I found out that they were going to start streaming Cinderella, I was happy, but not just for me, for all the young uh, black girls who don't really get to see themselves on television a lot in that light. And so, you know, it's going to be great to see Cinderella on TV. It's already streaming her and the late great legend Whitney Houston. Um, so I'm glad that it's it's back. Absolutely. And uh, also, not many people remember the fact that uh, Kobe Bryant took her to prom. I, re I, re I remember that. And it's so funny. Yes. I had a crush on Kobe because of Brandy. You were trying to steal Kobe. I so, hear yeah. you, Jennifer. Well, Jennifer, it was a pleasure having you on BNC Prime. We look forward to speaking with you in the future about all the gossip, all the tea happening in the entertainment industry. Wish you the best and have a good weekend. Thank you. Look forward to coming back. And with more news right after this break, Chicago's mayor is under fire. We'll tell you what the city is being accused of when we return. You're watching BNC Prime.